All right, man, here's 1968 Impala convertible. Show the car a little bit. It's got a little dent right here in the quarter panel. It's probably the biggest dent in the car, maybe one of the only. So that's a little ding on the hood. You can see the paint's real nice. Uh, gold leaf is pretty nice. Painted about three years ago. Front bumper comes pretty good. Little gold leafing, variegated leafing on the hood. I burnt through this little spot right here when wet sand to buff. It's got two little dings right here on the hood. Walk down this side. It's got a little chip in the fender right there. See the body straight. The paint shines up real good. This isn't even wiped down or nothing. This is just pulled out the garage. Missing the back emblems. Is it easy to find? Review of the whole car. back bumper. This is where I said that the chrome on the back bumper is not perfect. You can see it's got little scuffs. Front bumper looks better than the back I would say. A little ding on the back. As far as the interior there's the boot. It's got a little rip in the couple buttons. As I said, I'm missing the interior door handles and window cranks. Missing those pillar trims by the sides of the windshield. Uh, got a little Graves Impala switch tab gold chrome. Here's the handles. This is the only other really like flawed chrome is the handles. They're not so hot. Um, so raise it up a little bit. Alright, as far as front suspension, uh, it's all dirty under here, but chrome down upper and lower control arms. Steering, it's got front disc brake conversion. Um, all the steering stuff under there is chromed out. There's the other side. Like I said, it's all dirty, man. I drove the car through some rain the other day, a little rain puddle. Oh, there's the upper control on there. Go to the Part of the back and show the rear end. Here's another shot of the car.